I am currently working on 8S one-piece structural battery drone and I need a few composite parts for it. This is how I make small carbon parts at home. First, I 3D model and then 3D print molds. I print molds at higher than recommended temperatures to increase adhesion between layers. These particular molds are printed with PLA at 215 degrees while the maximum recommended temperature is 210 degrees. The printer I use is Ender 3 V2. Once the molds are printed, I coat them with PVA mold release. Don't confuse it with PVA glue. You can see that some of my molds already have a slight green tint to it. This is because they were already used in the past. The release creates a barrier between mold and epoxy, making it possible to remove parts from mold. A mold needs to be coated very thoroughly to make sure no single spot is missed. It is a good idea to wait for the first coat to dry and make a second coat. Once the coating is dry, I can start the wet layup. I have all my materials pre-cut and ready to go before mixing the epoxy. Don't forget that epoxy is toxic and you must wear proper personal protection. It is a good idea to have nitrile gloves and a gas mask on and make sure that you are in a well-ventilated area. When ready to go, I thoroughly mix epoxy. Once the epoxy is mixed, I have a limited time to work with it. So I don't mix a lot, just enough for a few small parts. First, I coat the mold with epoxy, so that when I put the first layer on, it is wetted from below. Once the first layer is wet and follows the mold forms, without any gaps or bubbles, I put the epoxy coat over it, and then the next layer. Sometimes it is difficult to make a carbon fiber to conform with a mold, when I work with small parts, but usually vacuum bagging takes care of it. After the final layer of carbon fiber, I put a peel ply to create a nice looking finish surface. The peel ply doesn't stick to epoxy and is removed when the part is taken out of the mold. A final layer of breather clothes allows air and excessive epoxy to pump out of the area around the part during vacuum bagging. I don't have a footage of vacuum bagging, but it is really simple. I just use typical storage vacuum bags with a hand pump. I leave parts in vacuum bag for at least 8 hours. Then I take them out of the mold and this is what I get. These parts need to be trimmed. I use Dremel with a cutting disc for trimming. It works great, but creates a lot of very fine dust. The easiest way to deal with the dust is to cut in front of a vacuum. But I made a small downdraft table. The table doesn't work very well. I need a much bigger shop vac for it. Always wear adequate protection when cutting carbon and working with power tools. I use a respirator, glasses and gloves. While I am finishing to cover my room with a fine layer of dust, please like my video and subscribe. It is very important for me. Here are the parts after trimming and washing. Time to build a new drone. Stay tuned!